flash of each tablet. Yeah. Why don't nobody does that? Hey, why Why have they been ripping off Medicare? Uh, uh, the the medical well, profession true. has been ripping that's off true. Medicare. You've got a lot of doctors ripping off uh, Medicare and some ripping off Medicaid. Yeah. God knows what else. They're getting away. They got away with it for a but long you know, time. It is time I've got to run. I hope you don't mind. That's quite all right. And I, I'm, I'm happy that we've had you a tad bit longer. Well, uh, to, to be continued because I just don't like seeing people getting hurt and ripped off. So we've all got to try our best to help each other. So And uh, and, and this is why who, I... Who knows the Jerry Springer? Who yeah. knows the Rodney King? Can yeah. we all just get along and let's take, yeah. take care of yourself and each other? Well, this is why, Bill, this is why uh, I don't like to I don't like to be censored when I do a show because sometimes you got to get tough and you got to break a few eggs to make an omelet. Sometimes you have to do it. Well, are you talking the egg whites or pure yellow? <laughs> anyway, that's no yolk. We'll have a nice evening. Yes. And my best to exactly. everyone. And I'll talk to you all later. Okay. Oh, okay. And and uh, I guess I'll see you soon when you get back up uh, back home to uh, the main office in New Jersey. Jimmy, I should be up in a day or two. We'll have coffee together. As always. Yes. Yes. All right, my friend. You, Reverend Bill, have a good one, everyone. Okay. All right. Bye, bye. Right, everybody, take care now. You take care. Bye. Okay. Uh, I'd like to add something to that conversation. Yes. As long as you keep putting the money up in the economy, there is less down. You mean the siphon? The downs are the spenders. The 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 siphoning up. The siphoning up, and uh, I forgot to uh, to ask Billy to say a word about the newsletter. Is I'll this his first read? No, he's done it twice. No, I mean read. Yeah. This is his first... <laughs> you mean tangible possession of an issue? Yes. Yes. Which, you know, uh, 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 nothing replaces an intelligent person that actually gets to read one issue of Newsletter Sense. Yeah, Seriously. At least they get the content. Because in order, to, in order to understand what we're all about, you really have to get at least one issue of Newsletter Sense. And this is a brand new issue. And it's titled, uh, Of the People, By the People, For the People, by William J. Eisenman, Ph.D. If you're wondering, folks, how you can be a part of our organization, and what is the best way to join our organization, well, this is it. This is what we're all about. This is the backbone, the flagship of our organization, Newsletter Censored, founded in 1977 by my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Go to newslettercensor.com and get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. Get it now. Okay, Newsletter Censored. There's nothing like Newsletter Censored out there anywhere in the mainstream media or the mainstream press. We are living in the end times. You need newsletter censor. You need it to learn how to defeat a conservative. And also, as a bonus, you need it to find out what the Bible really has to say. Not what zealot, right-wing, fundamentalist, cultist, religious nuts in the Republican Party tell you what the Bible says, what they, what they think the Bible says, but learn what is actually in the Bible from the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman when he does the God Project. Okay? Which, incidentally, you can find the God Project by Googling the God Project, Mega Life 21, and uh, we have videos on demand. Uh, also, censored videos on demand, uh, archive classics. You can listen to past readings. Uh, you can go to the Cyber Church of God, which is on our radio station. And if you're wondering, well, how do we get to our radio station? Well, simply go to newslettercensor.com, and there's a big link at the top of the page. You can't miss it. In big, giant font, blue letters, 
for the Try radio. to use IE. Try to use IE because for some strange reason the format, the template of the newslettercensor.com, the company that that runs it is doesn't seem like they're compatible with Firefox, which I prefer. Mozilla Firefox. Unfortunately I do too. But yeah, especially with all those great free add-ons, you know. I also use Chrome, which I like. You like the Chrome? But it's difficult to get your favorites in Chrome. Your bookmarks in Chrome for some reason. Yeah, it should be easy to, to have that. They yeah. should be listed when you open up, you know. Yeah. Like on Fire, Firefox, the little blue thing, you click on the little blue thing and it gives you all your recent, uh, you know, bookmarks. And you can click on whatever one you want. Yeah. But I can't, uh, I can't seem to get my yeah. all my bookmarks in Chrome. Yeah. Well, I just want to say before... Even though they've been imported from Firefox. Yeah. Um, um, I would just want to say, like, we're progressive liberal, but myself and the Reverend Dr. Bill do not always agree on everything. Like, for instance, uh, uh, I'm pro-death penalty. He's mm -hmm. not. He's not. Uh, he's pro um, affirmative action, uh, uh, gender quota, racial quotas. I'm not. I don't. I don't feel that I'm willing to give special treatment to any one group of people. That sort of though contradicts your other statements here about what about a mind. It's a terrible thing to waste. Everyone should be entitled to a good education. Oh yeah. Yes. See. Now I'm talking about hiring quotas. Whatever hiring. In other words, I'm turn. I have a better resume, but I get turned down for somebody else because of who they are as a human being. Well, like, you may get turned down in that car. Not based well, on merit. Yeah. What about another one? What's that? You, apply to, you know, you apply to several colleges. You wait for one to, you know. But oh, you're talking about education. Yes, I'm talking yes. about hiring. Because if you're not going to have affirmative action then how are all these minds going to get a good education? You're talking about uh, a day when people were, were nine times out of ten were not hired. Yeah. Or were refused hired. Blacks, during the 60s. They weren't hired at all. In the 50s, and the 40s. They went through these things. Instead of getting a good job, they had to become shoe shiners. If they could even do that, because then we go back to the push cart. They may have been uh, competing with some uh, Woolworths or something and they got kicked off the street. Get out of here, kid. Yeah, they were kicked. You know, go across the tracks out. there and uh, Yeah, and, 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 and if they and if they had to pay out of pocket for an education like the kids do now, yeah. There's no way they're gonna pay off this student loan in their lifetime. Correct. Bill says something about most of your lifetime. I say uh, lifetime. Oh. It's all because what is happening is, you're, don't forget, they just raised the interest rate. The banks just raised the interest rates. Number one, a few years ago, banks were not involved in student loans. It, they were from the government. Yeah. Okay? Of course, the uh, politicians, they gave it over to the banks. Right. The banks were charging something like three or something percent. Now it's up to six something percent. Here again is the siphoning of money upward. No trickle down. That's all fake. That 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 was never meant to work. The trickle down economics. It's a so, lie. So the point is that uh, now you got kids who put out the hundred thousand dollars to go to uh, college, get an education, want to be something, maybe an MBA. Come out of college and they can't get the job as an MBA. So now instead of making thirty, forty, uh, you know, uh, dollars an hour. They got to pay ten. Mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. how the hell are they going to pay off their loan? Especially if they owe ninety thousand dollars or more. And that's what it's all about. And there are people that owe more. And that's what it's all about. Student loans cannot be written off in a bankruptcy. Oh, I really? Is that so? I, the, actually, it was deliberately made that. Way. Actually, the person. The, the person who shall remain nameless uh, rung, rung up um, 
a $90,000 student loan bill because of the uh, lovely local New Jersey college that we have called uh, um, Fairly Dickinson University or Fair, Fairly Ridiculous University. Fairly Dickinson University uh, because you know they were located in Bergen County I think Teaneck? Rutherford. Rutherford? Rutherford. And yeah I think they have a, two uh, campuses. Teaneck they might have two campuses. Shame on you uh, you uh, uh, hoity-toity nose up in the air Bergen County College ringing up a ninety thousand dollar bill on, on on a young man who who has no way of paying it back and they want interest too on top of it Americans should not have to uh, go broke for the rest of their life to pay off a student loan that is a racket and a ripoff you know but it's in effect because we like those things yeah Wall Street loves them now the sick rackets the sicko fonts, I mean, I had a sicko font very recently get all upset because I was telling the truth about the Catholic Church and about, mm. I mentioned uh, uh, colleges ripping off students and that uh, they don't want to be controversial at all. They want to be liked and accepted by everyone. Oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be blackballed. I don't want to give my, my true opinion. I said, listen, the Catholic Church is guilty of many bad things throughout history. 50 million people throughout history yeah. they have killed. They have killed! So, it, based on their monetary worth, their net worth today, why do we have charitable uh, commercials about feeding the children if the Catholic Church is so extremely wealthy? Why don't they feed the children? Well, that would be a real Christian thing to do, and they are not Christians. Right. So, of course, the, no, sick, the, the sicko font that uh, owes $90,000 said, um, mm. uh, oh, he's uh, all bent out of shape, because like, I was talking against the Catholic Church, which most likely his family are, are Catholic. Hey, I was born Roman Catholic, but I'm, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm not going to be a sicko font and, and have my nose up the Catholic Church's bought and agree with everything they, they say and do. The Catholic Church, with the help of Emperor Constantine, mm -hmm. actually changed. They had the gall and the nerve to change God's seventh day Sabbath to the first. That was the first big sin, right? First big sin, what, for the Catholic Church? Are you kidding me? Changing the Sabbath? That, that wasn't Church the first. is full of the sins. Yeah. Organized religion? Of course, then they came in with the pagan holidays of Easter and Christmas and Easter and the other thing. Well, that's and how... they don't want to be Judaized. We don't have to obey the law today. The law was done away with by Jesus on uh, the stake the cross so-called mm -hmm. see that's what they come up with all this stuff this stuff has nothing to do with Christianity oh, nothing yeah. Roman Catholic Church they're not vicars of Christ or representatives of the Bible at all not at all not at all they are the devil's church well doesn't when Satan comes as an angel of light don't don't doesn't he all often come as an evangelist or a pastor or a church? It come with anything that uh, you know you perceive as being moral and etc. You know, um, oh, good. Uh, that was so funny when we were discussing uh, Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen giving pep talks to the guy cro uh, Did across. Did you see the, the YouTube? Was it the Grand Canyon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was it made me sick? Oh Jesus, please, can you calm this wind? Can you calm this wind, please? Well, these are these are evangelicals that feel you can have a conversation with God, and and he, you know. And well, you know, Joel Steen, he said it in his book. He God gives him the best parking spaces. Yeah. You know, come on, man. And now, and now, all these so-called born againers claim that they they can talk to God anytime they want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what you always told me is, he's not 
God has not called them. He's not. He has not called them. Mm -hmm. Okay? They can say anything they want. They are not called. And you cannot come to God unless you are called. Yeah. So they don't hear you. He's not hearing you. Only the elect, the 144,000 elect, is, is hearing you. Well, they're dead. Oh, you mean the elect? Yeah, well, maybe not all of them, because they, a few of them are being, uh, you know, taught now. Yeah, but you got to be or really, you got to be dead. really heavy duty special to be part of the hundred forty-four thousand. Correct. And I don't know too many people that special to today, except for like Mother, the late Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa was not a Christian. No. You're mixing up being good with being a Christian and. Yeah. and church and all this stuff like and that, they have nothing to do like with that other. Indian gentleman that goes around feeding the poor in India and Correct. gives them haircuts and shaves them Correct. And, you, did or you like see that? an atheist an atheist can be immoral oh God forbid an atheist can be immoral yes he can see they have nothing to do with each other Okay. You can be good. You can be good and moral. But you may not be of God. In other or you word, may. In other words, uh, well, a person can be a very nice, kind, decent person and be a, 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 a Buddhist or a Hindu. Confucian, yeah. Or that, yeah, yeah. They, you know. It could be anything. Yeah, they could be anything and still be good at heart. I mean, exactly. You know, but if you talk to a right wing evangelical, everybody's going to hell. Everybody's going to and hell except no, them. There's no such place as hell. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. Everybody's going to the grave. Yeah. Oh, but but these these right wing evangelicals are going to get sucked up and raptured up in the sky and saved from the tribulation, according to them. Sorry. Only 144,000 will be sucked up into the sky. Are destined to be saved from the tri from the tribulation. The 144,000 elect. I believe it's 2 Corinthians 15. The resurrection chapter. Read it all. And the part that says, uh, that also proves that you can't just talk to God is that... Uh, um, uh, he, he he like something about you cannot come to me except through Jesus through Jesus and you have to be called you have to be called yeah be called you can't uh, you can't go to him yeah oh God 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 pray 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 please please, please, please. calm this wind calm this wind calm this wind these are all when they do that sort of stuff so the tightrope walker can they are hypocrites of the first order. Not only hypocrites, they are mockers of the God of the Bible in pretending that they can, you know, talk to Him, connect with Him, etc., etc. For every little desire of life is, is a slap in the face and an insult to God. to God, thinking that if the baby needs new shoes and you know, you talk to God, he's gonna, he's, a windfall is gonna drop in your lap so you can buy groceries and clothes for your family, you know, or, come on, give me a break. Mm -hmm. The Almighty has nothing, and I repeat, nothing better to do. The problem is they don't understand that it's not a matter of what God can do for you. It's what you can do for Him. He's looking for people to do certain jobs who are getting the training, education, and etc. that he will need in the millennium to rule and to guide and to teach and to put the earth in better shape because when he comes back, mm -hmm. the earth will be in some bad shape with World War III going on. 
billions of people being dead. That doesn't sound like a huge rapture to me. No. no not what about when the evangelicals uh, quote from the Bible that you, you can turn your life over to God for, for all of your needs? If you are called. Absolutely. If you are called initially. Whenever. whenever but but there, you are called. There are people. You can do that because they'll hear you. There are people that will perish that will have their time later on. Everyone will have their time later on. Later on, yeah. Yeah, the great white throne judgment. Yeah, because, because there were, I mean, look, it's a bizarro world we're living in. The wicked uh, are, are, are in charge. looked upon, they're in charge, and they're looked upon as being good. Selfishness is now a virtue. Greed is good. Greed is now good. So it's obvious we're in the end times. It's obvious. You know, and uh, well, it's obvious if you uh, if you believe the Bible and you actually understand it, then you understand you're in the end times. But if you're not, if you don't do any of those things, you don't understand you're in the end times. Yeah, you're well. If if a if a Democrat any other time. if if a Democrat that pretends to feel your pain sells you out, that's that's prophesize uh, you know in the end times that that everybody who's running the world in the country is corrupt and without is, natural affection without natural affection to Timothy I mean the proof is right there how people will become in the end times just look it up to Timothy they will eat their children you they mean, will eat dung so, because of the famine. You saw the other horse. So when, so when Mike you know, Tyson... It's not only the white horse that comes out. No, there's others. Yeah. So when Mike Tyson was joking around with Lennox Lewis about eating his children before their fight, I mean, it will come, it will become true. <laughs> no, he really said that, buddy. Yeah. He, well, he's... Well, it, it will be because there will be no food. There'll be no food. Yeah. There was going to be a time when the uh, the Holy Roman Empire, of course, is, in, is you know, being at war and being mm -hmm. in charge and etc. And against the uh, modern day descendants of the ancient Israel and uh, besieging them at all their gates and etc. And there will be no food for us. Mm -hmm. For us. <clears throat> And then when we are weakened and uh, they take over us, uh, we are, they're led off to uh, become captives and slaves. That's the future for the modern day descendants of ancient Israel. Yeah, which uh, the United States and Great Britain are the modern day descendants. Uh, Ephraim and Manassas, right? Manasseh. Manasseh? Yeah. But there are other modern day descendants of the other ten, uh, you know, the other tribes. Yeah. Such as the Scandinavian countries and uh, Ireland, mm -hmm. Scotland. You know. Yeah. Well, I like I like the modern day descendants that went to Ireland and Scotland because they they make damn good whiskey and ale. Oh my gosh. And stout. But anyway, we have time for one. One? Oh, God! All right, all right, all right uh, maybe, uh, maybe two. God, I don't know if this is one or two is applicable here. Let's see what we got. Find, find something juicy. <laughs> something. Uh, <laughs> since, since we covered a lot of important subjects in banter. Every taxpayer ought to be outraged at the privatization of the state lottery system. One partner of one of the businesses now running the lottery was identified as the Ontario Employees Retirement System. What about New Jersey's Employee Retirement System? Every resident should be outraged at millions to billions of dollars over the next 15 years will leave New Jersey 
and help support a retirement system in Ontario. Really? State residents reach into their pockets, spend their volunteer tax dollars in the lottery system to help New Jersey with the hope of winning money. The lottery system was legalized to help education in prisons. Why wasn't the state pension system encouraged to bid on this asset? One company bid and received this financial windfall. Yeah, also the, the help the handicapped people too, right? The lottery was supposed to help people why, on fixed incomes. Why wasn't there? Well, so was the Homestead rebate. And, and the casino gambling in Atlantic City. Which uh, Mr. Christie is spending $12 million on a special election in October not the when that $12 million could have reinstated the homestead rebate for the elderly and the disabled. Yeah, well he also uh, gave a lot of uh, um, subsidies to his rich buddies, I hear. Isn't that par for the course? Tremendous amount of money. That he, that, but he has no money to keep the food pantries or Planned Parenthood open, but he's got money to give to his rich friends. Why wasn't there a vigorous debate or ballot question on this issue? Governor Christie needed the $120 million upfront money from North Star GTEC to balance his budget. Okay. Speaking of the property tax bill, a bill that will help towns offset the property tax loss when a large company relocates won final legislative approval by the Senate on Thursday and will now go to Governor Christie's desk. Oh boy. A corporate divestment disinvestment, excuse me, Property Tax Relief Act was approved 23 to 15 by the Senate. The bill was prompted by the drug giant Hoffman LaRoche. Hoffman LaRoche. Their decision to end its 80 plus year presence in Nutley and Clifton. Yeah, let me guess. They want to outsource that location somewhere cheap? A move that cost New Jersey nearly 1,000 full-time jobs, 1,000 part-time or contract positions. Roche also pays about $14 million in property taxes. Ah, to add further to the New Jersey unemployment numbers. This can happen anywhere. Assemblywoman Connie Wagner, Democrat of Paramus, one of the bill's sponsors said in a statement, This could happen anywhere. If a major property taxpayer decides to leave for whatever reason, then residents will be penalized through no fault of their own. Sure. Why, why doesn't the rich be penalized and make them pay the taxes? We need to do more to make sure the taxpayers are protected. Under the measure, municipalities that face a significant drop in their property tax base because of a major business closure or relocation would be eligible for special short-term property tax relief aid to help compensate for the loss of revenue. Protecting taxpayers in cases like this is the right thing to do. Nutley is struggling with this now, but it can happen any place, any time. Yeah, well, you know. More well, example of the power of the big corporation. Well, uh, over the little guy. When um, Senator uh, John Kerry, right, of uh, um, uh, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. when he uh, was running.